Guarcha La Latte has been part of folkloric remedies in Mexico and Central America for hundreds of years now. The name Guarcha La Latte was Hispanicized from the name Guarcha La Latte, with origins from the Aztec language of Huantal. During the Mexican Revolution, soldiers used the powder of Guarcha La Latte on their combat wounds. The bark of Guarcha La Latte has been known as a use for gastrointestinal ailments such as ulcers. People also speak of its cleansing properties as well as detoxifying effects within the circulatory system. There are many other treatments it is used for. A common preparation only needs about three or four pieces of the bark. The proper preparation is to boil for five minutes, then let cool for another five minutes. It's best not to boil too long or not long enough. There is an optimum cooking time. Both anecdotal and clinical reports indicate effectiveness against stomach ulcers. If you have a bleeding or a very raw ulcer, expect some discomfort when you first drink it. Remember, you can always dilute it with more water. There is a difference between healing pain and warning pain. Knowing the difference, learning how to listen to your body can be an important benefit to your good health, a skill that can last a lifetime. A personal note here, after suffering somewhat from gastroenteritis or diverticulitis or some kind of delicate stomach that could not take grape seeds, handle sunflower seeds, popcorn, or raw hard foods in any great amount, I was introduced to the miraculous powers of Quachalalante. After several small bags of it, I was able to even eat a large bag of movie popcorn with no lingering intestinal after effect. Whereas before, there could have been weeks worth of rumbling, grumbling, and other unpleasantness. Quachalante is a Mexican tree bark, and if you live close to Mexican or Mex-American communities, you can pick some up dirt cheap. That's the best way. The more processing, the less better. Things can happen that are not as good. More history on Quachalalante later.